Good morning everybody and once again welcome back. In this video you're going to learn how to essentially submit Hive SQL queries to EMR serverless. We also have a small mini project for you uh, so that we can learn the concept pretty well. For the project we are going to take actual data set that is NYC taxi data set about 2.8 million records. Uh, so we're going to create uh, the table right and then what we're going to do is let's say I'm interested to know uh, how much uh, total amount uh, you know they made in fares over a month over a year so we're going to write the query and we're going to submit that uh, query to the emr serverless and you will see these tables are essentially being created in the glue catalog you could also run ad hoc query using athena so all of that is there in this video so i hope you enjoy so let's get started with the video and it is show time let's get started so the first step that we need to do essentially is we need to create a emr serverless um, cluster so we can click on manage application uh, this should bring you to uh, a page like this click on create application and say type the name as hive jobs select the type as hive over here this is important uh, the release version as emr 6.10 rest everything to default and click on create application so now that you have your emr serverless cluster uh, clone the project repository and in that project repository that you will file uh, you will essentially find two sql file that is init query.sql and then query.sql these are two sql files now let me show you on uh, the code inside that okay so this is basically the init query.sql file and this is how it looks like and again i'm gonna walk you over all the steps so don't worry create external table if not exist nyc taxi so we are creating a table called new york taxi these are the columns and the corresponding data types this table is going to be partitioned by a year and a month as you can see we defined the row format we defined um, the output format and the location of the data in this case uh, this data is stored in a public s3 bucket called serverless analytics hyphen canonical hyphen ny uh, uh, new york um, pub and then after that we are going to run a command called M M msck repair table nyc taxi now let me show you the query.sql and then i'm going to show you how to submit these um, queries to the emr serverless okay in a second so this is what uh, the my you know business query looks like it's pretty simple so select a year a month and we count the total number of records as total rights uh, then we sum essentially the total amount as total amount earned. This is how much amount, uh, you know, the taxi business has earned. Uh, we select it from a table called NYC taxi group by year and month. And again, we create a table called gold underscore total underscore rides underscore amount. All right. That's great, right? Now that you know how to, uh, now that you have seen the query, now let me show you how to essentially submit these jobs to EMR serverless cluster. Now, what you want to do is basically for the demo, we are going to deploy these queries on an S3 bucket. So I'm going to show you that process. So come to S3, click on create folder and over here, type the folder name as SQL. Click on create folder. Now head over to the folder. Inside that, these are my two query files. I'm going to dump them in. Click on upload. Click on close. Again, these are my two query files that I'm going to execute. Now it's the last part that is we got to just submit the job and see these tables in action, right? So let's take a look at that. So now it's the final part what we need to submit the job, right? So let me show you the code for that. Okay. All right. Hopefully you guys can see my screen, right? So on line number one to line number 10, I'm defining imports, JSON, UID, OS, Boto3, and I'm basically importing all my secrets from a file called .env. Uh, on line 12 to 18, I'm declaring AWS access secret and region. On line 20, I'm creating a global Boto3 client object, uh, as you can see. Um, then over here, uh, I define a function called Lambda Handler. Could be anything, foo, bar, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, line 28, I'm declaring a bucket name. This is the application ID. Uh, again, this is the application ID of the EMR serverless cluster. Execution time, the ARN of that, and the job name. Again, job name is basically hive underscore job underscore the UUID. So I'm basically forming that. Uh, you do have to submit these two parameters while submitting the hive jobs so hive conf that is hive exec uh, scratch that is scratch directory and then again this is the path to that so these configurations are important um, then i essentially use a method inside a client object called start job run i pass in the application id i pass in the client token the client token has to be unique i pass in the execution arn and if you observe init query uh, again, 
init query is essentially the, the query to create the, the table, right? And the query is actually this one over here that is you can see inside the folder SQL, query.sql. That is the aggregate that I, I essentially want, want right? Um, and again, uh, I'm submitting the high parameters and um, that's pretty much it. The code is pretty straightforward. Now, once we execute the code, we'll see the job in the pending set. So let me now uh, submit the job. I'm gonna submit the job now. As you can see, I got a response. Uh, and if I head over back to my EMR at this point, and if I go to my Hive jobs, if I simply refresh. I think uh, I went to the wrong one's Hive application. And here you can see my job is now in the pending state, as you can see. Now I'm gonna uh, resume the video, uh, just zooming in in short to, you can see that it's in the pending state. So I'm gonna resume the video once this is complete. As you can see, the job is now in the running state. So I'm simply gonna wait for this to complete. My job is finally now in the success state and now what I can do is if I go back to Athena, I refresh here, uh, you can see I see the NYC taxi, which is partitioned and this is my aggregate that I essentially build. So now if I come here and do a preview table, now the business can get valuable insights. So here they can see for the year 2010, for the month four, how many rights they did, and uh, what are uh, what is the total amount uh, you know they have earned etc etc right so hopefully you got the idea right what i'm trying to explain so with this approach now you can submit hive jobs to emr serverless uh, cluster now this was the basic right now we're going to take this a level up and meaning let's try to develop a framework right meaning store the sql query in some metadata like either dynamo db uh, use a dynamic scheduler uh, so basically people can schedule their uh, queries here right um, uh, and the scheduler will be essentially event bridge so through an api a customer or a person can essentially set up when would they want to run the job is it a one time or they do want to run it daily um, and then again um, uh, once the cron is fired, this is uh, again gonna read the metadata from DynamoDB and again submit the jobs to EMR uh, serverless. So all of that in the next video, but I hope you have enjoyed the video. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, make sure to like and subscribe the video if you found a value in the content and I'm gonna see you in the next video.